I learned from you something which touch me and which make me to welcome you with good heart. First, you are a very active man. And when I look in the newspaper, every day you are in a new place. I, I, I can't understand how can you do it. God bless you. And I know that, I'm sure that His Excellency, the President, Mr. Sisi, is proud of you. Because you are a man of action and always active. And everywhere, the Prime Minister is there. Second, you are a man of achievement. You know what you did in Egypt? And every day, you left the country, and new projects, new factories, all of you are there. And I feel in my heart, we gave all the prayer and the honor to his president, Mr. Sisi, but I know that you have great contribution in that, that you can think, you can achieve. I know nowadays nothing is easy. The third one, you are a happy person. Yeah, in your very busy schedule to come to visit us, that is great humility. And we are grateful to that. Sure, we are praying for you and his excellent president to Egypt, because Egypt in our life, as Pope Shud and Pope Tawadros say that Egypt is part of the heart of the church. Lastly, lastly, you are a very strong man in Kenya, not in Egypt. Why? Because you should bring the old bishop all the way from America to here in one day. No one can do it among all these people. Never one can do that. Only you are the only one who brought me and I cancel. Take two function today and tomorrow. But you are very strong. Your Excellency, we love you. And we accept you in our heart. And we assure you, the church always for Egypt and with Egypt. And I want you to be at home, and all of us like to listen to you when you speak from your heart about what. But please be with us in this journey. We don't want to be this journey alone. You know that there is a lot of challenges here, and the challenges in Egypt face us. To say, I cry to this man, but sometimes, all the time he is helping and cooperating, but sometimes things he can deal with it. We, we, we take your permission to sit down with us a short time in my residence to speak how more Egypt can offer here. I know now Egypt is like that in Africa. And when I see His Excellency, the President, go everywhere, like a light, lighthouse, and help everywhere in Africa, I know, I believe that Egypt has great place in Africa. Welcome to the Coptic. We love you. We are praying for you. Thank you. What you are doing here is really great. And having this, of course, uh, I cannot say a building, it's a complex and being affiliated to the Coptic Church, I'm totally proud of this. And definitely when I will uh, return back and uh, have the chance to meet with my brother, for example, definitely uh, uh, Baba Twadros, I will convey this message to him that I am personally and nationally proud with what I have seen here, really. So I would like to, to to state that whatever support is needed from the Egyptian government to uh, make your work more uh, impressive and more even accessible to the people here, I will stand ready to provide you with your, the full support that you need in this. I, I was speaking with His Excellency's Ambassador about, of course, securing the Egyptian medicines and even some equipment that may, may, might be needed for here for the hospital, I will definitely uh, contact my colleague, the uh, Minister of Health, to see how we immediately provide any kind of support needed for this premises, of course, to continue its substantial and useful role of helping the Kenyan citizens and, of course, any citizen who live here in this lovely city. And definitely, again, Egypt uh, 
will always support you because the moment I, I, I get out of the car, I felt that I am, in, I am at home. With all of these lovely faces, we are really very touched again and very happy to be with you. And uh, inshallah, Rabbina yufakum gami'an lima fi khair. Thank you very much. As the government, we are very happy with the collaboration that we are having with Coptic Hospital as one of our premier faith-based facilities. You know, as a government, we cannot provide health care at 100% by ourselves. So we are happy with faith-based facilities that are doing very well. We have received very positive reviews of this hospital and many people like it, including me. My own mother was admitted here two months ago. So we are happy to the hospital we are glad with that Definitely. support and we welcome it they have very high-tech equipment which you have seen for yourself and we are very happy with that Egypt is a little bit ahead of us when it comes to healthcare and though, so there are many areas that we can collaborate especially in the area uh, area of uh, managing a uh, cancer Egypt is quite ahead of us so we have many areas that we can collaborate digitization of healthcare that's an area of uh, where we can collaborate with them so the MOU is in the process we are working on it and very soon we should be yes. signing an MOU with Egypt on yes. matters Thank health. Thank you. Of course, I had uh, the honor and the privilege to, uh, to visit this uh, very distinctive premises and I'm very proud because this is, I think, it's uh, another embassy for Egypt here in, uh, in, uh, in Kenya. Of course, we have our official, but this is another, I think, embassy because it represents Egypt in the heart of Africa. So it's uh, definitely, and this is what I have discussed, of course, with with Bishop uh, Paul and all the, of course, uh, the manager here for uh, the hospital, that the Egyptian government will uh, provide all kind of support to uh, maintain the distinctive services that this premises is providing for uh, our Kenyan brother here. And uh, of course, this will be reflected immediately in uh, um, uh, replying to all the demands that they will uh, ask for. In, especially in, of course, uh, Egyptian medicines or any kind of equipment and also the doctors, specialists who can come here and uh, provide all kind of support for our brothers here in Kenya. Thank you very much. We received uh, His Excellency the Prime Minister of Egypt, uh, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, who is uh, our CS uh, of Health of Kenya, Mrs. Susan Nahumicha. Uh, it was a very nice visit. It was like uh, just uh, for uh, the first visit by the Prime Minister to see the Coptic uh, Hospital in Nairobi and uh, we went through uh, some presentation and we visited some units in the hospital. Uh, it was a successful visit, he felt uh, very embraced and he promised actually to support from the government of Egypt to help us with uh, maybe some medication, some equipment, uh, even some doctors. So. Uh, this will be nice, it will help us to keep improving our services, to keep serving the Kenya community more uh, better and more better. Thank you.